Hi guys, and welcome to my next Let's Play. And I'll be continuing with the uh, space opera theme. Uh, I began with Wing Commander, and thought about doing Wing Commander 2, but I needed a bit of a change of pace. So, and also I needed to fiddle, fiddle with my computer a bit to get the sound uh, issues fixed, which I hope they hopefully are. You should be able to hear me a bit better. So I decided to uh, move on to a more recent game, uh, which is uh, Descent Free Space or Conflict Free Space, uh, if you are uh, from Europe, as I am. Uh, this game was released in 98 uh, and it got uh, great reviews uh, and uh, it also had a sequel which you can actually see that uh, I'm using right now. Uh, I'll be playing the original uh, Free Space 1 campaign, but through uh, Free Space 2 engine. Uh, source code of which was made uh, freely available by the company in, I think, 2002 or something. Uh, so after that, the modding community was able to uh, fiddle around with the Free Space 2 engine, and uh, there's actually this huge pro project uh, aimed at uh, making Free Space 2 look even better and uh, uh, also be able to do things like this, uh, which is play, uh, uh, bring back uh, the original Free Space 1 campaign and ships and uh, other stuff. So, so uh, they really did a number on this. The graphics are really improved. Don't let this uh, this screen fool you. Uh, the game itself is a lot prettier. This is the uh, original background from Free Space One. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything more to say about it. I'm uh, I've already gone through the sound settings and uh, brightness setting. I'm, uh, I've upped this quite a bit. Hopefully you'll be able to see properly. I know that YouTube uh, tends to darken the, the videos quite a bit, so uh, the bloom effect and uh, lighting effects and everything is just plain burning my eyes, but I'll try to <laughs> soldier on. Uh, I've also set up my controls the way I like him. And uh, I already flew the tutorial bits uh, while testing, so you don't need to uh, watch me blow up some cargo containers uh, for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. It's really long and boring bits. Uh, so, uh, yeah, without further ado, I think we'll start with the first mission of the Free Space One campaign. Operation Thresher in the Antares system did not proceed as planned. Terran Command estimates Terran losses at 504 pilots dead, 14 missing, and presumed dead. The Vasudan foothold on Vasudan Prime and Subspace Node remains solid. However, their supply lines have been cut off, which means they are most likely lacking reinforcements and supplies. Expect more news on that front in tomorrow's briefing. There have been many rumors about the appearance of another sentient species. These are rumors, nothing more. Investigation of the Ross 128 attack has determined nothing. Concern yourselves with the known enemy, the Vasudans. There is to be no more talk of phantom ships. Let this serve as a welcome aboard to all newly arrived pilots aboard the Galatea. Since you're here, your flight records must speak highly of you already. Serve the Galatea well. She's a fine ship. Report to your flight stations at 0830 for your squadron briefings. Oh, she's a beauty, all right. Good old Galatea. That's where we'll be serving. Familiarize yourself with the specifications of the GTD Orion class destroyer, the Apollo Space Superiority Fighter, and the ML-16 laser. Information on all of these can be found in the tech room. 
So yeah, I uh, almost forgot to give you a bit of background information just in case you're not familiar with the free space universe. So um, basically, this uh, quite similar setup at the beginning as with the uh, Wing Commander series. So there's uh, been a war going on with an alien species called the Vasudans in this case. For the past, I believe, uh, 14, 15 years, something like that. And uh, it began pretty much uh, straight after humans made first contact, so there's almost no, no uh, <laughs> time of peace between us, and so we've only known known war. Uh, and it's uh, not clear uh, which one is uh, getting the upper hand. It's pretty, uh, pretty even. Um, there's you no know, uh, great technological differences between the races and uh, the canon uh, information isn't actually that extensive. We are told very little. Of course there's a whole bunch of fan fiction written around this universe, but I don't... Uh, I'm not really into that, so... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're at war uh, with an alien species and we are a fighter pilot in the set war. Beginning, beginner fighter pilot, we'd just been transferred to a large uh, carrier called uh, Galate. And let's check our first mission briefing. Pilot attend. Welcome to the GTD Galate. Your first assignment as part of the Galate's crew is to stand the third watch. You will patrol the area surrounding the GTC Orf. The GTC ORF suffered an engine breakdown in the Beetlejuice system and is awaiting repairs. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. You will be on watch with one other ship, Alpha 2. Since this is your first watch, Alpha 2 will be piloted by Lieutenant Harbison, seasoned veteran and top-notch pilot. No, he ain't. He's a bitching. You begin your watch by jumping Morning to Beetlejuice kid. near the GTC ORF. You'll see it in the mission. We have reports of the Sudan fighters in this system, so stay alert. Engage and destroy any hostiles that threaten the orb. At the end of your watch, you will be relieved by Delta Wing. Upon Delta's arrival, you are to return to base. Your primary objective will be to protect the orb until the end of your watch. We expect you to carry out your orders to the letter. may confirm your ship hardware and weapons loadout for this mission. If found satisfactory, commit to the mission. GTD Galate Quarterdeck, signing off. Please review your objectives for this mission. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we can actually get to choose uh, which ship we're flying. No, not that there are any choices right now, but in the future missions we can uh, we get to change our own ship and also ships uh, in our wing and even other wings that are flying with us. And we also get to choose weapons individually to each ship. Pretty cool. Yeah, um, right now our choices are really limited. Only like uh, a damaging laser or a disruptor cannon, which is used to disable enemy ships, ca uh, like destroy subsystems on big ships, uh, or just plain disable smaller crafts. Uh, this is kinda useful, uh, even if the objective isn't to disable a ship, uh, especially with cap ships you can disable the engines to prevent them from escaping and so on, but uh, for this mission it's pretty useless, so we'll be going with two ML-16s. And then missile-wise we have uh, Either fire and forget uh, heat seeker, ten of each for each bank, or uh, this dumb fire uh, missile, uh, which we can carry a whole lot more. These uh, like uh, really small warheads, uh, they do really little damage, but the amount of them is just uh, staggering. You can really uh, <laughs> hammer away at. Uh, small fighter craft uh, if you are fast enough to stay right up their tail so I tend to use fu fury missiles a lot especially at the beginning uh, my wingman's loadout I'll leave it as it is okay let's finally commit 
and start the mission. Hey there, Alpha One. I hear you're new to the Galate. And that's our old, old veteran pilot. Just follow my lead. You'll be fine. So yeah, uh, in the right hand corner you can see uh, monitoring ORF. Uh, that's this uh, slightly bigger destroyer craft they're escorting. You can see the condition of the ship you're supposed to be escorting there. It's really handy. Uh, also that's a uh, round indicator behind the ship. <coughs> Okay, my wingman already took care of those ships before I could get a shot off. We've got more coming in. Make sure they okay, don't reach the orbit. This time I'll find it in a few kills. Right, so that's one. Ah. I really wasn't I'm expecting this much action. This isn't much action, this was four ships. All of which were damaged to be given. With more bandits incoming. Yeah, this looks thirty-five like percent hull strength. This is really just a get your feet wet mission. There's no actual way these guys could do anything serious to you. My God, you're dodging quite well. Or I'm really, Good really kill. rusty. <laughs> So yeah, as I was say, saying, you can uh, see the condition of the uh, craft you're supposed to escort in the right hand corner, and that's really useful. That uh, little D right next to it, uh, we get it's, it's soon. disabled, I, I think, so uh, the engines are off your flight, which is also a really good thing to know. <laughs> and yeah, um, right there, I took some damage from the collision and um, you can see that small uh, icon of my ship right next to the radar at the bottom we don't have any shields yeah, shield technology is something that neither humans or Lasudans have any knowledge of so yeah pretty much uh, playing a tin can and uh, Someone throwing rocks at us can kill us quite fast. But yeah, that was the uh, first mission. Went fine, though I got really few kills. But we'll end it anyway. We'll end it by entering subspace. Open the portal, going through. That's the mission. You did a fine job on your first watch, pilot. Your strong sense of duty will serve the Alliance well. The presence of Vasudans in this system gives us little reason to worry. The ships that attacked you in the Orb were probably remnants of the Vasudan convoy that we hit last week. That would explain why they were still really, really damaged and easy to take down. You can press this recommendations button if you uh, mess up your mission somehow, and there might be some useful information there. And also, um, quite a few missions, uh, none at the very beginning, but uh, later on, will have a uh, bonus objective, secret objectives that you know nothing about, so you basically just stumble upon them uh, by pure chance. Like um, You may need to uh, fly close to some unex uninspected car uh, cargo containers or transport ships and check what's in them, or uh, disable a certain craft instead of destroying it, even if the primary objective states that you need to destroy it, and so on. So it's uh, really int interesting uh, little tidbits about this uh, game and uh, ways in which you can proceed it with it. Okay, let's check out statistics. We got three kills. Nice. That will work. You can also see the percentages of your uh, hits and uh, how many assists you got and so on. I won't be checking this all too often. I'm not really that interested. I just want to show you what, what kind of information there's available. So I shot th down three Anubis class craft and all time statistics. This I may actually check after we're almost done with the whole campaign bit just to see how we did. But okay, that takes care of the 
first mission and I think I'll stop it right here and when we come back we'll check out what the next mission has in store for us. Until then, bye for now. <laughs>